Have you ever wanted to go out on a tall ship with sails? Well today I'm going to show you how to make this traditional ship quilt block. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojani, and embroidery. So a ship quilt block is a really traditional block and it probably comes from the day when people did sail in ships like that. So even though now most people travel by uh, plane, car, train, things like that, and not tall ships, it's still a fun block to make. So pick out the colors you wanna use for your block and let's get started. So to make this ship block, you're gonna need two four inch squares. And this is the fabric that is gonna be used for the sails. So whatever color you want for the sails, two four inch squares. Then you're gonna need a three and a half inch by 12 and a half inch rectangle. And this is gonna be for the body of the boat. So I have this kind of tan gold color. That's what I'm gonna be using. And then for the water at the bottom of the block, you're gonna need a two inch by 12 and a half inch strip for that. And then from the background fabric, the rest of it, you're gonna need two four inch squares, two three and a half inch squares, two three and a half inch by six and a half inch rectangles, and a two inch by 12 and a half inch rectangle. So once you have all your pieces cut out, then you're ready to begin assembling your block. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the half square triangles that are the sails in the block. And we're gonna use the four inch pieces for those. So the four inch background and four inch color pieces. Now I'm doing this using the most popular method for making half square triangles. And so on the back of the four inch squares, I'm gonna write a, draw a diagonal line from corner to corner stitch a quarter inch away on either side and then cut on that line and then we'll have half square triangle pieces. If you want to see the full detailed tutorial for how to do that, I do have another tutorial for how to do half square triangles. And of course, if you have another method that um, you prefer for making half square triangles, you can make these with whatever technique you want. Just remember that if you're using a different technique, then you might have to cut your half square, your cut your fabric pieces a different size. So, um, your half square triangles, when they're made, you're going to want to trim them, or you want them to end up to be three and a half inches square, so that it will be three inches square in the finished block. So I'm going to go ahead and make my half square triangles. So once these half square triangles are done, you can put those aside for right now, but just make sure they are trimmed to three and a half inches square. Um, so they're gonna finish at three inches. So now we're gonna work on the body of the ship. And for that, we need our three and a half by 12 and a half inch strip of fabric and our three and a half inch background squares. And we're gonna use a method called stitch and flip so you can either follow along with exactly what I'm doing here, or if you want a little shortcut, you can check out the other video that I have that has a uh, hack for how to do this a little quicker. So on the back of these background squares, we're gonna draw a line from corner to corner, just like when we started the half square triangles. And then we're gonna add these to this piece, but we're gonna put them going in opposite directions. So make sure that one is going one way and the other one is going the other way. And we, um, so that we have the bottom of the ship and then it's going up to the wider part. Now with the sewing machine, we're gonna stitch right on this line, exactly on the line that we've drawn and then once we've stitched that, we'll be able to press that back and so we'll have our piece. So I'll take these to the sewing machine to stitch, double check that they're going in opposite directions. So now that this is stitched, I'm just gonna double check that they are in opposite directions. And once I'm happy with that, then I'm gonna trim off 
the seam allowance and you can use rotary cutter or you can use scissors and I trim off about a quarter of an inch but to be honest this seam allowance doesn't have to be perfect because the stitching is already done. So these um, triangles are left over. We don't need those. Um, if you want to see how to make bonus half square triangles, I do have a video about that. But now I will just press this and then our body of the boat is ready. So once the base of the boat's done, we're ready to begin laying out the block and we'll see how it goes together. So we're gonna start off with our half square triangles and we'll put those in the middle and those are all gonna be in the same orientation. So then on either side of them is gonna go a three and a half by six and a half inch piece and it looks like it's a little bit short, but that's because this seam allowance will make this piece smaller. So don't worry about that. So that will go on either side. And then underneath will go the base of the ship. And then same thing, it looks like it's short. It's not, that's from seam allowances. And then at the very bottom, we will put our blue water and at the very top, our background piece. So we will assemble this in the same way. We'll assemble those four in the middle to make a kind of like a four patch of half square triangles, then put on those sides and then join these pieces. So I'm gonna start with assembling this four patch unit and just remember to keep them all in the same orientation. So when you're joining the half square triangles, normally I would say either press to the dark side or I would say in this situation, press away from the half square triangle to have less bulk in the seam. But in this situation, I'm gonna say press one one way underneath the dark half square triangle and the other one away from the half square triangle. And that way, um, when they're aligned, then the seam allowances will be going in the opposite direction. So then you can join them and you'll feel how nicely it it holds together as you're stitching. So when these are joined for that middle seam, I would prefer to press that seam open to eliminate some of the bulk in the corner. It's not really a pinwheel, and so it doesn't make sense to kind of spin your seams like some people do, but pressing it open will just eliminate some of that bulk. So now I'm gonna add my side pieces and you can see now they are the same size now that they've been stitched together. So I'm gonna add these side pieces to the sails. So now that the sail piece is done, we can see that it's just four rows that have to be stitched together and then the block's complete. So here's the finished block and what a nice block it is. It's really fun to play with this and play with different colors. You can make it in um, bright, bold colors for a child or really anything. If you don't wanna have this blue water piece, you could just make that background fabric. So it's just a ship on a whole background piece. Um, it's fun to add this with embroidery or applique. You could put little fish jumping out of the water. You can put birds in the sky, little people on the boat. You can be creative in a lot of ways with this. To see a full written tutorial, click the link below. And for more quilt blocks and quilting inspiration, be sure to check out my website, ebitastudio.com. Mm -hmm.